anyone new to the channel, I talked about Black Christmas before. And, um, and, um, yes, this movie nearly had me in the psych ward for about a month or so. This movie was made by the Simple Jacks for the Simple Jacks. In the SGWs. And they probably didn't watch this damn film, but, um, let's dig in on this horror movie. It's a terrorist attack to the mind, to the senses, to men of all races. Sound like it rhymes. But it's sad how people waste money in making movies like this. Universal, Blumhouse, what were you thinking making this film? So let me go ahead. So this movie is supposed to be a slasher film directed by Sophia Tykel and also written by her with probably malice in her heart, no doubt, the way this movie went. Just a reminder for the people out there, this is a remake of the 1974 Black Christmas, a movie I thought was annoying in some parts, but is a hundred times better than this pig sloth. And so, as the 2006 remake, a hundred times better than this terrorist attack. So this film follows a group of sorority girls at a school called Hawthorne College in whatever state I don't care about. It begins with this girl paranoid that some man is, going, is falling her, probably going to get her, when she ends up getting attacked by, you know what else, a man. Sin is, the scene is so cringeworthy, cringeworthy. She's on the... Okay. Men are bad. That's the point of that scene. That's probably the, pretty much the point of this movie. Men are bad. Well, the rest of the college is preparing for a winter break. It's the only thing this movie actually shares with, with the original and the other remake. Okay, um, let me do this. Let me do it this way and cut to the chase. Because uh, this movie is so freaking heavy-handed with the wokeness. Like I said, the first scene in this movie is such a cringe. I was wanting to turn this movie off, but I had to watch it or review it for another channel who requested that I review it for a show. So I did it anyway. Anyways, second, uh, once again, men are all bad. Men rape women. Every man in this film is ridiculed or made to be evil. Okay, moving on. All right, let's remember one more time. Men are bad, even the innocent ones. I think the boyfriend to one of the girls got freaking, he just got dead dirty. It was bad, real bad. Like Michael Jackson bad, the way he got done dirty. It was just cringe. Just cringe after cringe after cringe. Excuse me? I told you something like this was gonna happen. Okay, you humiliated those guys up there. Of course they're pissed. And that gives them an excuse to harass us? What if a bunch of frat bros had gone up and sang a song about how, I don't know, women were just bimbos who like to show off their tits, then yeah, you'd be livid. It's a little different, Smidge. How? Why are you allowed to say all this shit about men and we're supposed to just sit here and take it? Because men have all the power. Not all men have power. Did you just not all men? Men are rapists, Chris, no. okay? I'm not. Nobody. But you just lumped me in with the bad ones no. because I'm a man. Nobody is calling you a rapist. Why? With your man-hating. Man-hating? What did I say that was so hey, offensive? Come on, just calm down. We're trying to have a reference. Calm down? Yeah. You want me to calm down? Let's calm yeah, down. Actually, calm down. Okay. You're just trying Shut to... Shut up! What would you do if I grabbed you? I just... Get out! You know what? You need to leave. The second I have leave. a good point. Leave! I don't no, give a no. shit! You second I have a good point, Who you tell me you? Get out of here! I should have just dumped you last I don't I give a shit! Day. Get out! Characters are obnoxious to the point you want to chop off your own ears and eyes. My only hope that these characters were killed off. All of them were killed off. Not the actresses. Sometimes you gotta clarify for the simple jacks out there, but these characters suck. None of them were interesting. All oh, were just whiny little babies. And probably privilege and whatever else you could, they were supposed to be in this movie. And I thought Jess from the 1974 Black Christmas was annoying, but she's taller bro compared to these damn broads. So let's get to the black goo. The black goo is probably what makes this movie even more ridiculous. So what's up with the black goo? Seriously, what does it mean? That reminds me. They have black goo in another remake called Fantasy Island with another obnoxious girl in it. Oh! So, the black goo, we find out, allows the spirit of the Hawthorne College founder to possess the frat boys, the pledges, 
and kills any woman that steps out of line. Roll it quick. Well, you know what? I'm not even going to go there to explain the reason why they the way they are now. Never mind. Oh, yeah. It's a cat in this movie. It looks to Black Goose. So, will this cat go around killing dogs now? Twice its size? Bottom line, this movie is a disaster from start to finish. Out of the three power movies, meaning three girl power movies that came out from November 2019 to February 2020, it ranks the lowest. This movie's a trash hate people. Burning poop on somebody's front door. You know what? I'm done. Somebody else can try to review this, but I highly doubt they can even try it in themselves. They probably want to quit themselves. So if you want to see this movie yourself, go ahead, but drink a huge amount of um like vodka or something, some handy seed, because um you're gonna need it in order to get through this movie. I didn't. I did it sober. And it really messed me up deeply. <laughs> 